Well, in this step, we are going to choose a color theme for our visuals and give it the finishing touches and bring that layout into a background so that we don't have to load every single shape that we place now on this report. Okay, now let's start by creating that background. What I would usually do to make this process a little bit easier is I take a screenshot of my Power BI report. So let me do that quickly. And then copy that screenshot over to PowerPoint where we can then create the placeholders for all of the visuals and any extra element that we wanna to add to the design of our report. Now here we have the placeholders for all of the visuals that we have on the report page. Now you see I went for a bit of a different design, a darker design in this case. Now you can also go for a lighter design if you like that more. However, I wanted to go for something different. All right, now I also added nice gradient border lines around it, which is stuff that you cannot do in Power BI. So we have a lot more design options here in PowerPoint than we have in Power BI. All right, so let's see what else we can add. Now maybe you want to have something flash here, then you can also add something like this. Let's go for green, let's choose that as our color, as our main color for this report. And then we have maybe a little bit more of a darker background around it. So these are all just shapes that I added. Now, if you're a fan of icons and you wanna integrate that in your report, instead of doing it in Power BI and where every image has to load separately, you can also integrate it into the background, which I did already to save a bit of time. You see, I just, added three different icons. Good, so we have a background and once you're happy with it, then what? Then we need to save it as a picture. All right, so here we're back on our report page. Let's open the selection pane first. So view, selection, and then all these background shapes that we had before, you can delete. And then we can go again to formatting options, canvas background, and then here we have image. Now. Let's choose then that background image that we just created. Make sure that the transparency is to zero and you see that looks much better. However, the visuals themselves, they don't really match the theme just yet. Okay, so that's then the next change that you need to do so that everything nicely matches with those colors that you set up here. So for example, these cards that we have there at the top, we can just select them all in one go and then go here to general effects and then here for the background color, just choose the same background color that we used in PowerPoint before for the placeholders. For the text, of course, we have to go for a white font. And after doing that for all of the visuals, it looks like this here. 